What's up everyone, Sleepy Moddy here, back with another video, and Windows Task Manager is something we use for some of us a lot of the time, and for some of us not exactly all the time, and frankly, it's pretty basic and does some basic stuff and not too much care about it, but today is where things really change. So ever since Windows 7, Task Manager has been getting a massive overhaul, with Windows 8 marking a new UI and a ton of new features, Windows Task Manager actually started to make sense for monitoring our system. With Windows 8, we obviously got new features with it, a new design, but it also too brought so much more detail about our systems, telling us exactly what model CPU we have, what speeds we're running at, the cache amount, core and thread count, not to mention things like RAM were reported on more accurately now, and also to the make and model of the RAM were being reported, drives were being reported, and overall task manager just got a massive increase there. Ever since Windows 8 and 8.1, nothing too much has happened to task manager. It's got a few minor improvements here and there with Windows 10, but the latest update with Windows really takes it to the next level with GPU monitoring. So if you've ever built a PC before, usually you open up Task Manager, you open up MSI Afterburner or some other uh, GPU monitoring software, and you also to open up a temp monitor, but now Microsoft is making it just that little bit easier with GPU now integrated into Task Manager. Now at the time of recording, it is a little bit buggy here and there with some of my video cards not being fully picked up, but if we take a look at these images and right here, we can see it will report multiple video cards if need be. So whether they'll be your integrated video card and also to your dedicated one, both video cards if you are running SLI or Crossfire or just anything that will output a video signal will be reported here. We get utilization graphs, we also to go ahead and get things like memory graphs, other specifications like driver dates, driver information, and it is very, very full-fledged. Now at the time of recording, this is part of the Insider Build program being billed 16,226, so it's not exactly on the mainstream yet, but at the moment it is available if you are part of the Insider Build program. After playing around with it for a little bit of time and figuring out how it all worked and seeing which cards work with it at the moment and which don't exactly work fully, I found unfortunately no it doesn't do any temp monitoring and unfortunately you can't write it to a file, so if you want to do some debugging or testing with it, you can't actually save that task manager session and record it to a file. Unfortunately, it just isn't a feature yet, but at least we have the small step of actually having Windows Task Manager reporting our GPU. And it does function much like our CPU tab except for the video card, so it's not going to give us any sort of recording options as I did just mention, and it won't give you minimum and maximum values, it will just give the basic readout so you know basically what is going on with your system. A lot of people, myself included, would really have liked them to also to add a recording option like we do have with a lot of other third party uh, software, where we can actually write the values from the software to a file, so if we do crash we can open up that file and see what it exactly the values were when the system crashed which is really great for diagnostics, but I guess baby steps and at least we're getting some GPU monitoring here. So with that being said, that is a quick video on the new addition to Task Manager. It is a really cool feature and I'm super stoked for this to come down the line. Now unfortunately it won't be coming out anytime soon, most likely will be coming with the next creators update, which I believe is going to be happening in the fall, so it is still a little bit of time from where we are at the moment, but it is super exciting to see what Microsoft has in store for us. So do get excited for that and let me know down down in the comment sections what you would like to see added to Windows Task Manager. Personally, I like the addition of a GPU, but I personally would like to see our actual ability to record Task Manager sessions so you can debug things later on if you do crash. But again, let me know what you want to see down in that comment section. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.